Lodi Kiyatere, daughter of the chief of the Laguna Pueblo tribe, was captured in a photograph around 1905. In the image, she wears traditional Kawake attire, which is adorned with a belt and a collection of bead necklaces. The location of Laguna Pueblo is in the semi-arid central western region of New Mexico, geographically close to the city of Albuquerque. The image, dated 1908 and attributed to Roland Reed, captures a woman affiliated with the Ojibwa tribe. This photograph transcends eras, serving as a window into times past and offering a captivating glimpse into the life and culture of the tribe during that period. Through this photograph, we are led to a pivotal moment in history. The image, captured by Carl Wernz in 1900, portrays a scene in Hopi, Arizona. In it, two young women belonging to the Hopi tribe are positioned near a window. The composition allows us to perceive the curiosity and fascination on the girls' faces as they contemplate what lies beyond the window. In this snapshot from the past, we have the opportunity to gaze upon a woman belonging to the Cheyenne tribe, an indigenous people with a rich cultural and historical heritage. The capture, originating from 1878, transports us to the setting of Fort Keogh, a settlement located in the lands of Montana. The image unveils a trio of women connected to the Isleta Pueblo community. They are identified as Carlotta Chihuiwi and her daughters, Maria and Felicita Tora. This photograph was captured in the early years of the 20th century, with authorship attributed to Poli. The record bestows upon us a glimpse into the lives of these women at a specific historical moment. The photograph portrays a group of young individuals from the Hopi tribe, specifically from the Sycamore region located on the first mesa in the state of Arizona. The capture is credited to Frederick Monson and dates back to approximately the 20th century. In this image, it's possible to observe the girls dressed in traditional attire that symbolizes the rich Hopi culture. In the image, it's discernible to notice a young woman who is a member of the Taos Pueblo community, situated in the state of New Mexico. The capture was taken in 1895. The scene provides a fleeting glimpse into the young woman's everyday life within the backdrop of Taos Pueblo, a community with a unique and enriching history. In the visual capture, a young member of the Kiowa tribe becomes discernible. The photographic record dates back to the year 1892. The scene affords us a fleeting glimpse into the young girl's daily routine immersed in the context of her culture and community. Through the attire she wears and the expression adorning her face, we can infer nuances of the cultural identity and social customs of the Kiowas in that era. In the image, the presence of a woman who is a member of the Spokane tribe is clearly distinguishable. The photograph dates back to 1897 and provides a striking view into the life and culture of this woman within her community. The capture taken by Frank LaRoche acts as a portal to the past, offering the opportunity to establish a tangible visual connection with the rich historical heritage of indigenous communities. In the photograph, it's possible to appreciate the depiction of the Corn Maiden, portraying a woman affiliated with the Pueblo community, presumably located in the state of New Mexico. The record, dating back to 1904, offers a remarkable view into the culture and symbolism associated with the relationship between the Pueblo people and the significance of corn in their traditions. In the year 1900, Carl Everton Moon embarked on a photographic endeavor with the purpose of documenting Native American communities in their natural environment. His primary motivation lay in the preservation and portrayal of indigenous culture in its most genuine form before the influence and intervention stemming from Western incursion. The image depicts a woman who is a member of the Taos Pueblo tribe, photographed during the 1880s. The primary purpose of the record is to provide an authentic and visually enlightening view of the life and culture of this woman within her community. The photograph offers a unique opportunity to examine the appearance, attire, and expression of this woman. During the 1880s, Marsha Pascal emerged as a unique figure, embodying an ancestry that encompassed her Cherokee heritage. Her story was remarkable, as she was the daughter of George Pascal, a prominent officer in the United States Army. The era in which Marsha Pascal lived was marked by a series of social, political, and cultural changes in the United States. In the year 1894, a woman belonging to the Kiowa tribe, a Native American group with a complex cultural and social history. The effects of colonization and cultural transformations were in constant conflict with the traditions and principles of her people. In the year 1900, the depiction of a young Native American woman wearing traditional attire emerges. This visual image takes us to a specific point in the history of the United States, offering a glimpse into the cultural traditions and identity of the girl who is part of an indigenous group. The photograph, taken in 1899 by Frank Reinhardt, 
showcases Hattie Tom, a woman from the Apache tribe. This image takes us directly to the end of the 19th century, providing a glimpse of the identity and appearance of a woman within the Apache community. Moreover, the photograph serves as a reminder of the significance of visual representation as a way to observe the past. Elsie Vance Chestuin is a name that evokes a historical personality associated with the Chiricahua tribe. This name leads us to a narrative and identity that unfolded within this specific indigenous community. The Chiricahua were one of the various subdivisions of the Apache, a Native American people known for their ability to adapt and resist in the face of the transformations brought about by colonization and the expansion of the United States. In the year 1886, the historical landscape introduces us to Lizzie Longwolf, who played the role of an artist in Buffalo Bill's show. This particular event provides us with an opportunity to explore the world of entertainment performances during that period. Examining the role played by Lizzie Longwolf within this context, a photograph taken in 1895 showcases a young member of the Hopi tribe. The image offers a glimpse into the unique culture and attire of this Native American group. Through the photographer's perspective, it's possible to observe the distinctive features of the young woman, her traditional clothing, and perhaps discern nuances of her personality through her expression. The photograph captured by Frank Reinhardt in 1899 portrays Hattie Tom, a member of the Chiricahua Apache tribe. Through this photograph, it's possible to closely examine the distinct and unique features of Hattie Tom as she poses for the camera. Her traditional attire, meticulously documented, offers a glimpse into the enriching culture and traditions of the Chiricahua Apache people. The image, captured in 1886, features Isabel Perico Njadi, a prisoner of war from the Chiricahua Apache tribe. In this visual snapshot, Isabel Perico Njadi can be perceived in the context of her capture and detention. The photograph records a historical moment marked by conflicts and intricate interactions between indigenous peoples and colonial forces. The photograph, dated approximately around the year 1900, portrays Alice, whose specific tribe of origin is not explicitly specified, but she may have been associated with the Cayuse, Walla Walla, or Umatilla tribes. Her facial features, attire, and the surrounding context can serve as clues to understand her culture and tribal identity. The photograph, originating from the year 1885, features a young woman identified as being part of the Comanche tribe. In this image, the Comanche girl is captured in a moment that provides an opportunity to analyze distinctive details. The features of her face, her attire, and the surrounding environment can shed light on her culture and way of life. In the photograph dated 1900, we can behold a young member of the Hopi tribe on her wedding day. The scene immortalizes the cultural and ceremonial elements woven into this significant event. The young Hopi woman is adorned with intricately embellished traditional attire, reflecting the rich artistic heritage of her community. In the 1886 image, it's possible to discern Julie Nelson, a figure from the past, dressed in accordance with the customs of the time. The photograph captures her appearance and demeanor. The face she presents and the way she poses might offer hints about her emotional state or thoughts at that moment. The painting titled Amy and Carrie Kiawa was created by George A. Addison in 1895. The artwork portrays the figures of Amy and Carrie within a Kiawa context. The style of the painting is notable for its meticulously rendered details, capturing the essence of the characters and the surroundings vividly. Throughout the 1880s, a group of young women from the Comanche tribe emerged as prominent figures. These women had a significant impact on Comanche society and culture, playing essential roles in daily activities, the economy, and the preservation of traditions passed down through generations. I hope you've enjoyed this content and found the information interesting and useful. If you'd like to stay updated on more content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Thank you for watching, and until next time.